Hey guys, it's Ray here and welcome back to my channel. So good news, I might be moving next month. And now that I'm cleaning out my apartment, the bad news, I have a lot of junk. I mean, not just in the trunk, <laughs> but literally everywhere. But good news, again, I don't have to throw it all away. In fact, I could make paper out of it. So today I'm gonna try my hand at the ancient art that is paper making, and I'm gonna make art from my, my trash. <laughs> now in preparation for this video, I went down the rabbit hole that is paper making YouTube. And it seems simple enough, but we'll see what the real tea is. And if this does end up working well, I think it'll be a game changer for a lot of people to be able to recycle their old paper, especially now with everyone stuck inside looking for a hobby. So yeah, with that being said, short intro today, we're just gonna get right into it. All right, so the very first ingredient to making paper is paper. <laughs> I know that sounds counterintuitive, but just hear me out. I just so happen to have this giant pile right next to me, which actually is what made me wanna do this video. But as you're about to see, you can use any paper substance that you want. So I'm gonna look around the house, find all my little scraps that I have, start collecting them, and we'll go from there. Okay, so it is currently the next day. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of myself for filling this box up halfway. Every type of paper that is known to man, I can guarantee you, it's in this box. So yeah, now that I have all my paper collected, this actually leads me to step two of the process. By far, probably the most tedious part of this whole entire thing. Basically, I need to rip all the papers in here to tiny little shreds. That way I can blend them up later, so let's get to work. Play Hot Girl by Megan The Stallion. You guys remember this when I tested out the Amazon basic colored pencils? Yeah, well, it's going in there. Now for all my shredded papers, I want them more this size rather than this size. I want them smaller than bigger. That way the blender will have an easier time making it into pulp. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is so many different types of paper textures. There is so much variety in this box. So once we blend it up, I'm very curious to see one, what the texture of the paper is going to be, and two, what color the paper is going to be. So, I don't know, let's find out. By the way guys, I feel like this might go without saying, but if you use your kitchen blender, do not use that blender again for food reasons. You can either go to the thrift store and find a good blender, or you could be like myself and use like an old janky blender. This poor blender man, it's been through it. Oh, it's like a forbidden slushy. It literally just smells like wet paper. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> so now that I have my mixture here, I'm gonna go ahead and just dump it straight into this giant plastic tub that I have. Into the tub you go. Ew. <laughs> oh my God. Now, obviously this is not enough pulp to make paper. So I'm gonna repeat the blending process a few times until I get enough pulp that I need. Okay, so I'm back and here's what my mixture looks like. I'm not gonna lie, it actually feels really nice because there's warm water in it and like all the little bits of cardboard are like hitting my hand, kind of like massaging it. It feels kind of nice. 
Oh, and by the way, for this process, you're gonna need a mold and decal to create the actual paper. You could easily make these at home with window screen and wood, like no problem. But I just got these on Amazon and then I ripped out one of the screens to make the mold. So the screen is up top right here. Gonna put on the mold as so. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's way too thick. Oh God, oh God. I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> I had it and then I lost it. <gasps> there it is, my first paper. Now, as soon as I took it out of the water, the very, very, very first thing that I did was put it on a non-water absorbing surface. That way I can slowly start getting rid of some of this water. Man, this is like so therapeutic right now. I didn't think this would relax me as much as it has, but I am in total Zen mode right now. Now I'm gonna flip it over onto this non-water absorbing surface, dry the backside with a sponge. Me dropping the hottest beats of 2020. I'm really impressed with the texture. There's a lot of speckles and colors. It's a lot smoother than what it looks. Like on camera, it looks very bumpy, but I can assure you in real life, it looks a lot more smooth. So I saw this one tutorial in particular where the gentleman who was making paper, for drying your paper, he gave two options. The first one is to wait 24 hours for your paper to dry, but ain't nobody got time for that. Like I hardly have time for a 60 second TikTok. You think I have time for 24 hours for my paper to dry? No. So the second option to get your paper to dry is on a low setting, iron your paper. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Because I am. Oh, oh, she's lumpy. I'm surprised with how light the color is. I thought it would be way darker than what it is. And I'll have to take a mental note that all the areas that have creases and folds, when you hold it up to the light, those are the areas that are the thinnest. So next paper I make will be a little bit thicker. But oh my God, this is so freaking cool. I made paper, like here it is, here's my paper. I think I'm so excited. <laughs> so now that I know how to make paper, this actually leads me to what I think is probably by far one of the coolest aspects of paper making. You can actually embed whatever you want into your paper. And what I haven't told you throughout this video is that I actually purchased a whole entire variety of dried flowers to embed into my paper. I don't know why I keep wearing long sleeves on the days that I have to do stuff with my hands. Okay, so it should be done by now, or at least mostly done. And hopefully nothing fell out, so let's see. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The aesthetics, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. The texture, the crinkles, the color. It doesn't smell like anything. And even more interesting, when you look on the backside, you can actually see some of the rose petals because they're like embedded into the paper, which is really nice. So now that we know how to make paper and flowers look so beautiful and classy in paper, I thought we could take it to the next level, have some fun, try something a little out there, if you will. I'm gonna try to make hot Cheetos paper.
<laughs> Honestly, Cheetos have like a really interesting texture and they have a really bright, beautiful red color. I know that's weird to say about Cheetos, but it's true. And plus at this point, they're kind of like the internet's favorite snack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is crunch up the Cheetos. Not too much, because I don't want to breathe in the Cheeto dust, but just crush them up a little bit. Now I'm gonna add in the Cheetos to the paper. Sometimes I have these weird revelations where I'm just like, what is my life? What is my job? Like, and right now is one of those moments. Oh, it's probably too much. Oh well. Okay, I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit. Oh, bubble. Okay, I'm just gonna spread out the hot Cheetos. My hand is actually burning right now. <laughs> my hand is slightly burning right now from the citric acid or whatever. Oh, Tati, no. Honestly, it kind of looks like a tortilla, but I'm not gonna lie, when you put it up to the light, it looks so badass. That looks really, really cool. It kind of smells like hot Cheetos, but not really. If I'm gonna be quite honest here, I don't really like the texture of the Cheeto paper, but I am really happy with how the flower ones came out. I am absolutely obsessed with them. I think they are so cool. Let me know if you guys would like to see a part two where I put whatever you guys request into the paper. That could be a potential video. And uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next Friday. Bye.